I tricked my friends into eating a battery. He came back in crutches. Y'all had each other eating batteries out here? In this video, I looked at your awful <laughs> chat confessions. It's been a long running thing on my stream to look at some of the things that my chat is willing to tell me about themselves anonymously. Uh, lots of crimes. I killed a bird with a brick. <laughs> see, that's more palatable somehow. This is up there with the worst one yet. And if you want to see more of these, there will be this card at the end that takes you to the last time we looked at chat confessions. This was streamed live at twitch.tv slash quite, where I'll actually be live tonight. Also, you should subscribe with notifications on because only 20% of y'all are and you'll never miss an upload if you do. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Usually what I do here is I, I have like the confessional booth, but that's not so great today. It, it The text is so small, so we're just going to go for the raw text on screen and I'm going to read it. Also, I'm skipping this one because it's just some dude thirsting after the main guy from Weezer and I refuse to read the whole thing. As a one-year-old, I would constantly bite the shit out of my twin brother so much that the police almost arrested my dad for child abuse. In my defense, I'm 99% sure that my brother is the reason one of my testicles died. I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, not a great defense. You would not make a good lawyer. Do not try to represent yourself. You are not huh? Ted Bundy. When I was younger, I used to go to my friend's house and we'd play in her room with dolls. Then she would go to the bathroom or to her mother to ask something. I would go to the top of her bunk bed, start eating at the wood. I was never caught, but they did find the marks years later and still don't know it's me. I, I'm gonna take your word for it that they only found the bite marks day after like you would have made them. But you are a beaver, man. You got like some, you see like some flow in water and you get oh off. God, I am sure of it. You're, you're like, damn, I gotta do something about that. I gotta stop this. That's that's not cool. Termite, yeah, dog. I, listen, I've chewed on my own bed frame as a child. Never anyone else's. At least I know where my bed frame's been. When I was younger, I was obsessed with Undertale and MOP. I wore those cosplays to school. The teacher ended up calling my mom in for school because I drew Fluttershy and they thought it was a sign for a school banking. Thank you for censoring it ahead of time. They almost expelled me. It was a Christian school, so it kind of made sense where all the teachers were mad. Why all the teachers were mad weird. What is the Fluttershy symbol anyways? This is, this is it? This is what, this is what, yeah, they're gonna shoot up the school for sure. This is what made them think that? I, I, I good lord, yeah, they, weird. My vape caught on fire in a public bathroom and I didn't know what to do, so I threw it in the trash can. I literally learned they had to remodel it because the oh mirror stalls God. and sinks oh, were charred. Hey. You're a moron. Oh, this on fire thing? Let's throw it into the trash can full of unknown waste material. You're stupid. Like, I, there, I got no comfort for you here. You're a, you're a idiot. Jesus Christ, throwing the, the spare lithium ion battery in a public trash can is all, like one thing on its own, but it was already on fire. We we're in the bathroom. Why not put it in the toilet? Uh, it was an electrical fire, so that probably was also going to be dangerous. Yeah, try and smother it something. How did it even catch on fire? Older ones. There were some fucking off-brand ones that were not safe or proof for you. Yeah, at least sink. Like, that's a ceramic. It can withstand heat. The trash can probably has, like, hand sanitizer or flammable materials in it. You could have, like, oh my god. I killed Elmo because I was playing with a Tickle Me Elmo toy. I noticed he had a stain when I was eating a snack. Oh, Elmo, you're dirty. It's time for a bath. So I took him upstairs and went to the bathroom. Now, you'd think I'd put him in the sink or bathtub and turn to the water. <laughs> nope. I opened the toilet and dunked him in head first. I started to rub the water all over him and flushed the toilet and repeated this three times while saying, not clean enough, Elmo. I drowned Elmo in a fucking toilet. You gave Elmo a swirly. What has that innocent little thing ever done to deserve that? I, listen, I gotta play a song in memory of, um, in memory of my brother. Elmo's dead, guys. We gotta commemorate him. Elmo came with the AK-47. I just uh, joined waterboarded Elmo. Yeah, and also Elmo Freestyle. One time when I was five or six, I was playing outside and my sister's guinea pigs were out there and I was all like, what would happen if I hugged one of these fellers? So I went over to their cage, I grabbed a guinea pig, gave it a fat hug and killed it. I didn't want my mom to find the dead guinea pig, so I hid it in the shed behind the cage. Then like two months later, my dad found it. Dude, it had to have started stinking before two months. There's no way decomposing body. No way it wasn't. This is as bad as the cat on God. I think you guys are really misunderstanding why the cat one was so bad. That was a grown person who willingly stuck the cat in the microwave. And that's also why I think it's fake. My childhood dog was a pug named Gucci. She died a week before Gucci Gang became popular. Whenever someone would say Gucci Gang, I would start crying. Fuck! Such separate memories of that song for you and me. Of little pump music, that shit was hard. Like, it was such, like, an easy, addictive listen. Great memories listening to that song with my brain turned off. You? Your brain was going. All you could think about was your dead dog. Back in elementary school, I really didn't like this teacher, so one day I spit in her coffee when she wasn't looking. She still drank it and didn't notice. His one step below, Oppenheimer putting cyanide at his professor's app. One step below. It goes you, and then it's him. It's it's spitting in coffee, and then assassination attempt. Only thing worse than that. I used to think I saw a ghost and the paranormal when I was a kid, but now as a teenager with diagnosed schizophrenia, 
Freddy. I'm pretty sure I was just showing early signs. Because hallucinating hands coming to get me from the roof and shit is not normal. Why did my parents never question me at all help? I mean, I like my my personally as a parent, there probably is a point where like it continues that I'd be like concerned. But bringing you to the doctor, I, you might not have been able to communicate what was happening to you enough for the doctors to know. And also as a parent, kid says imaginary stuff is happening. I'm not jumping to them having schizophrenia. <laughs> Good news, you're not haunted. What? Back like when my dad lived in my grandparents' basement, I found it's like this like rectangular box next to his bed. And one day I found out it was a pocket pussy. I didn't like open it, but the side was like pocket stimulator or something. And I just knew he had his own apartment now, but I've been consciously aware of its existence ever since. Why does my dad own a pocket pussy? If it was in your grandparents' house, it was probably from his younger years. That's a real shame. I'm sorry you had to experience that. I tricked my friends into eating a battery and he didn't show up to school for four days. He came back in crutches. Oh my God. Y'all had each other eating batteries out here? That's insane. I've been listening to boyfriend ASMR and whimpering videos for three years straight. I have no love life. Fuck, that's bad. D damn. <laughs> I honestly, I've never been that down bad. I didn't think I would ever be able to say that about something I read. I've never done anything like that. I've like hugged a pillow as I fall asleep. That specific, that long. Holy shit. I shoved a Sharpie 38264 PP permanent markers, 5.3 millimeter chisel tip black up my ass in various oil. <laughs> <sighs> this is a reminder to take a break if the terrifying confessions are getting too much. I'd rather just get to the end and break down when I'm off stream. I once took a shit in the sink because the toilet was clogged and then I blamed it on the dog. Were there no other toilets in your house? I, how how do you expect to get away with that too? Like, how, how would your dog have gotten its asshole up to sink height? You better, if you had a big, maybe if you had a big ass counter. I went to a festival where they had a variety of stands selling different things as a kid. And they had an STD awareness one along with others about important social uh, or in health stuff. I was a very dumb kid, so I had no idea what a condom was. It was inside a transparent plastic and the condom was a red color. So I immediately, I thought it was a piece of gum. I took it from the, cr the free condoms bowl from the stand and tried eating it. Kept chewing on it for a 20 solid minutes with the taste of rubber in my mouth. When she found, when my mom found it, she saw me chewing on it. And when I showed her it, she scolded me not to put random things in my mouth. Something I still do, do to this day at 25 and should really stop doing. Keyword is random things. You can have designated chew toys. You can get them on Amazon, actually. I think that's the lesson here. You 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 have like a, a teething thing. Don't worry, it's it happens. People got it. I thought, dude, I like tear up the fucking, uh, I, I tear up my Xbox controllers like it back in the day. Weird things I've eaten. I think I covered this on quite with a Y. But one time as a child, and, and you know, I'll be making my micro, uh, my micro confessions here as I, uh, they become relevant. One time when I was in kindergarten, I, I had like a bad habit of eating erasers. And so my pencils wouldn't have erasers on the back of them and I'd have to borrow those detachable ones. Usually I'd just bring my own, but this time I, I didn't and I couldn't resist eating the one I had been lended. So by the end of class when they asked for it back, I don't have it to give to them because I fucking ate it. Once while I was babysitting my little sister, she wouldn't stop whining, so I held a pillow over her face for like five minutes because I heard it made people pass out. Don't worry, I was like nine. Would you be saying, don't worry, I was like nine if when you took off the pillow, you're like, all right, it worked. And then you wake up in the morning and you can't make her wake up again. I, it, it, like you didn't clarify if she was okay at all after this. I, <laughs> five minutes. People who don't breathe for that long can die. <laughs> Is it with children and attempted murder? Eh, their, emp their empathy centers haven't fully formed. I killed a bird with a brick. <laughs> See, that's more palatable somehow. I killed a bird with a brick, so what happened was when I was a wee tot, okay, Brit, I like to throw rocks and other big heavy objects into the wood because I like to say the, see the way the trees react. I can't say you were alone on that. We all like slinging rocks, maybe at other children, maybe not. So one day, I was at a baseball field throwing rocks into the woods, as you do. I mean, if you're gonna throw stuff anywhere, at the baseball field's like, not a bad one. And I picked up this brick that was probably the size of my 12-year-old self's head, and I chucked it with all my might into the woods. I was shook when the brick hit something harder than the leaves and I went to pick the brick up and I saw a dead bird. Needless to say, I think this made me relatively desensitized towards dead things. Can I be redeemed quite? I mean, you didn't exactly mean to kill it. There, there, are, there people have admitted to making animals dead very intentionally. Yeah, accidents happen. It seems like you were horrified when it did happen. And now it's just a formative experience you live with. These things happen. Uh, I've slept in a dog kennel willingly. Furry. When I was 16, I ate a way too strong homemade edible at school. Kids don't do drugs. Don't be like this 
silly goose, this criminal who did drugs, especially underage. And I did my most important regional exam that literally determined my entire future zooted off my ass. My mind was in space while I was writing that geography paper. I don't remember a damn thing that day, I, but I did end up passing. Well, I mean, now that you know you can like pull it off while you're high as shit, I, if you do it, if like, just saying, you get high as shit before every test, it's gonna whiz on by and you'll be out of there in no time. Also, what test were you taking at 16 that determined your future? Like my brain went to the SATs, but I was like, 17 when I took mine. Every time I go to Mayor Better Walmart, I steal some. At least one thing. I just gotta. It's usually like lipstick or something, but it's a fun little thing for me to do. I have to steal something. Every you're a kleptomaniac. This is a, this is an official di- this, I'm kidding. This is not an official diagnosis. But I'm get I'm getting some pretty strong- Getting pretty strong vibe. I enjoy watching characters in TV and movies being in pain or suffering. I feel some kind of morbid joy in it and have enjoyed it since I was a child. I have no idea why because I don't feel that way about real life unless it's someone I hate. And I enjoy it to the fullest extent possible. Have you paid attention to the type of characters you enjoy seeing get hurt? Is it perhaps ones you find annoying? This is just fanfic mind? Yeah, fucking AO3. This is an AO3 tag. I almost killed my childhood friend. He was a bit annoying and I grabbed his neck. He then fell to the floor and didn't make a sound. How did he fall? to the floor from you grabbing his neck. Did you like let go and he was limp? I almost hit his sister while trying to drive illegally. My eyesight is very bad. Don't fucking laugh about it. Th this is like what your eye looks like, dog. It's like fucking chewed out. That's why you almost hit her. I was in an almost empty parking lot. Why was she in front of the car? Oopsie. I almost ran. A I almost ran my best friend's sister over. Oopsie. Holy shit. I ripped ass on my boyfriend's face while he was, you know, dude, you gave him the worst pink eye strain possible. That man is going to be itching there for weeks. This one is short and weird, but I ejaculated the Fortnite Rule 34 the night Chapter 4 came out. I was so excited and I didn't know what to do with that energy. That was the first thing you did. Just had pent up stress, I guess? I don't fucking know. When I was a kid, my dog lady got out and I don't remember much of what happened. All I remember is I looked at her and she looked at me before darting off and I was like, well, I'm not chasing her and went inside. Sadly, she was never seen again. Don't know if someone picked her up, but I hope that was the case. I will, will still feel guilty and I didn't at least try to go after her. I mean, yeah, you're a moron, but you were also a kid. Frontal lobe isn't exactly developed. A dumbass move, but you were a kid. It wasn't like you let it, like you were fucking kicking it or some shit. I hope they're all right. I hope they lived out a happy life. I got my first dog. I was so possessive of her sometimes, I would lock her in my room so she couldn't leave, and she would just sit there next to me as I did whatever I, and I thought it was amazing, but she obviously did not feel the same. I'm just saying, like, sometimes you gotta make the cat hang out with you. Sometimes you, you gotta, like, hold them on your chest so they'll cuddle. Smoke is very jumpy. Sometimes I gotta, like, hold her there, like, while I'm repositioning in my chair. If I, like, pet her and let go, she'll realize she was overreacting, and then she'll start purring, because I was right. Of course I was. I play Genshin, Honkai Star Rail, Valorant, and Project uh, Sekai. I get no play! <laughs> <laughs> just the, just the matter of factness. D neutrally. Feels no way about it. This is just the way things are. We know you don't get play. Yeah, so do they. So do they. At least they accept their position for what it is. I once called someone bro like five minutes after they had their fingers inside me. The exact wording was, what do you want to eat, bro? Then they replied, did you just call me bro? I haven't recovered since. Bro's still in my vocabulary and will never leave for that I am ashamed. I only ever told this to like two people, so... Told it to a lot more now. How much does the situation change depending on the gender? of each party like if this is one dude to another is that like more acceptable than a, like a girl to a dude was the poster male or female my question exactly dude this could have been a guy saying it to a girl which would be fucking hilarious nah <laughs> I bought $200 AJR concert tickets. That's the most embarrassing thing I've heard all night. And I don't like to use this word often, especially directed at, at specific people. That's pathetic. Like an AJR? That, that might be a thumbnail. I'm getting a tattoo based off week. I don't know anything about AJ AJR. I'm gonna assume that's a song. Holy fuck. That's gonna run me around $450. This over AJR? If AJR is all right, let them live. No, they are fucking not. They are fucking dog shit. I'm not letting this live. And this is why I fucking say you guys have the worst fucking taste in music. This is why I don't listen to you when you don't like what I like. You like AJR. What the fuck is wrong with you? Don't make me pull up the song again. Don't make me pull up the song. I, I'm not- I, don't make me do it again. That shit ass. We're going back to the confessions. That's more palatable than all that. That's not an AJR song, fuck you. Yeah, it is! Yeah, the fuck it is! Not me, but a friend of mine in third grade pissed on one of those Lunchables nachos and made her brother eat it. Made me grateful I was an only child? By made eat it, do you mean like force-fed or 
pressured. Ah, fuck! Or did they just trick them into eating it? That's worse. I was a very unsupervised child. So when I was about nine or 10, I lit a cigarette and smoked it. Started coughing horrendously and then tried again, and then I succeeded. Children, do not try this at home. I agree, don't start. Nicotine addiction suck. Sometimes I eat turkey sandwiches with Kool-Aid powder in them. I think the Kool-Aid powder mingles really well with the mayo. That is the most reasoned thing I've heard anybody say in this, like in these chat confessions. I, I'm, the, I'm neutral to Kool-Aid. I don't like mayo. I, and I honestly, a turkey sandwich is like just a neutral, like cold cut. I, at least they, like, it's something innocent. It's a personal quirk and they reason themselves rather well. I think the Kool-Aid powder mingles really well with the mayo. They use the word mingles. This guy has advanced verbiage. I have jerked off while watching a quite stream. <sighs> All right, okay. What, did it just happen to be on? Or or was it like the material you were looking for? Ugh. Honestly, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. My first wet dream was about my sister. I'm killing myself. I'm doing it. I'm good. I'm I'm doing it in Gmod. Why the fuck did I have to hear that? Y you know, I don't have the same strength of stomach, I don't think, af after my break. I think I need to start- I think I need to start setting more guidelines. I think- I think- Guys, I don't think I can handle it anymore. I'm not the same man I was pre- You know. <laughs> There was worse, I'm telling you, and I'm just able to handle less now. I own over 30 Funko Pops. That's worse than the sister one. Womp womp. Ugh, <laughs> uh, fuck you. So you, whoever left that one in at the, as the last one it was clearly to taunt me. If you watched this on YouTube, did you know you missed out? Because you could have watched this live on twitch.tv slash quiet. It was great. It was so much fun here on the stream. I'm, I'm, I'm running an ad break, guys.